it's kind of being picked up much more by other styles, mainly ninjutsu. In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the black judo gi we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking about some of the features, what makes it a judo gi, what styles would train in this, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of all the people that would train in a black judo gi. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the black judo gi we have for sale at Enzo. So in this video, I have borrowed my buddy Eric to do a little bit of modeling so you can see exactly what the black judo gi looks like when it's worn. He's not gonna say much, I'm gonna do all the talking. He's just gonna be standing there looking pretty. So this black judo gi actually very, very rarely would be worn by judo practitioners. Actually, there's a whole kind of different range of judo gis for judo practitioners. This is a bit of a kind of historical hangover and it's kind of been picked up much more by other styles, mainly ninjutsu. So why is that? Why would ninjutsu guys wear a judo gi? Well, I think it's sort of historically, when martial arts first came over from the east to the west, the two main styles were karate and judo. So that was the two gis that were available for people to train in. So the ninjutsu guys would have, obviously they want to train in black and there was black karate gis, that was the most common type of gi around. So ninjutsu guys in the past have traditionally trained in black karate gis. However, over the years, as the trainings got more complex and people actually in terms of level have got better and better and the trainings got harder and harder, they found that they tended to rip through the karate gis, especially the lightweight ones. So when I first opened the shop, Black judo gis weren't really available, and all the ninjutsu guys bought the heavyweight karate gis. Now, even these, some of them found actually couldn't quite take the punishment that they wanted to put on them. More ninjutsu guys are cross training, they're doing other things, they're doing bits of judo, they're doing bits of BJJ, they're pulling it back into ninjutsu, and the gis just couldn't take it. So, this is where the black judo gi really comes into its own. It's a really, really durable gi, and the ninjutsu guys are loving them. So the features of a judo gi, what makes it a judo gi, in the main is the heavy reinforcement in the chest area. It's like really, really strong lapels. Re all this reinforcement that you'd expect from any judo gi, that's pretty standard. You get like this bobble weave on the top, pretty thick material, can really be thrown about all the way down to the end of the sleeves. And then halfway across the gi, you get like this cross kind of weave, This yeah, this diamond pattern in the weave below. So the lapels all the way down, really, really thick. Thick on the end, but not quite as thick in the lower half as the top half. This helps reduce the weight. Also, for judo, you don't need it to be crazy strong at the bottom. The other feature is the reinforced knees, which you can't see on Eric. So yeah, these reinforced knees that you get on all judo gis, it's just an extra bit of material that's just stitched in and reinforced into the knee. A lot of judo practitioners will rip them out. Now this is really, really useful for ninjutsu because you do spend a fair bit of time on your knees. Like not just for the throwing and the grappling, but also for like the sword work that you guys are doing. So having reinforced knees is like super helpful. And you don't tend to get this on karate gis, so having it in the, Having it on the judo gi really, really helps like the life of the judo gi and helps it helps it like truck on and on and on. So what's the gi made out of? Now, quite a while ago, nearly all the like Japanese gis were 100% cotton. Now you do get the more expensive gis that are still made from 100% cotton, 100% cotton. But these days, cotton's just gone up in price. So the, the price of the gis has gone up but also it's because cotton's become so expensive. So nowadays, the cheaper type of gis, the cheaper karate gis, cheaper judo gis, of a polyester cotton mix. So this one is 65% polyester, 35% cotton. Now you'll get people saying, oh, it's not traditional, da, 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 da. And there are more expensive judo gis you can buy. 
they will almost certainly be white and you'll have to dye them black which is what a lot of people used to do in the past however this gi you can buy straight off the shelf it's a very reasonable price but it does have the polyester in it now does this affect it in any way not really it it actually you know you still really get that natural feel it doesn't feel like polyester at all it doesn't have that kind of shiny sweaty feel to it, it feels very very natural very soft i'd be I'd be pretty sure that you won't even notice, you've only noticed because I've said, actually, you'll think it's 100% cotton gi, they're, they're really good. Doesn't affect the size, doesn't affect the feel. The things that it will affect is shrinkage. You don't get anywhere near as much shrinkage off these polyester gis than you do off the cotton gis. Also, the likelihood of the black staying in for longer is much, much higher. So if you've trained in black gis a long time, you'll know that the black just drains out of them over the years. So a lot of older ninjutsu practitioners are just rocking these like gray gis, almost halfway to white. It looks pretty cool, but really it's much, much smarter if you can have a black gi for longer. The polyester helps keep the dye in longer. So it will go gray, but it won't go gray anywhere near as quick as the 100% cotton. Few other things you can do to help keep the black in, one, don't get them out in the sunlight that off, often, it will bleach them. Even with the polyester in it, sunlight will bleach them. So yes, it's nice to dry geese out in the sunlight to kill bacteria, but also it's gonna fade it. So it's a bit of a toss up between what you want. Um, the other thing that you could do is wash it in a color protector. If you can get a black color protector, but any color protecting detergent is really gonna help keep it blacker for longer. Just giving you a few tips on sizing. Now, sizing can always be a bit tricky, but these geese are pretty spot on. They're not, it's not too difficult. So if you're looking at the size, say you take a 5180, that is based off someone that is 180 centimeters high. So ignore the five and it's just 180, that's your height in centimeters. Now, if you're quite a bit wide around the middle, you'll almost certainly need to go up a size. If you're hyper, hyper skinny, you might need to go down a size. Now in an ideal world, come into the shop, you can try one on, you can make sure the size fits you perfectly. However, we will do our best to do, like give you information over the phone. So if you're not sure what size you need, drop us an email or give us a call and we'll do our absolute best to help you. But yeah, as a guide, if you're 180 centimeters tall, you need a 5180. So at Enzo Martial Arts, we have a wide range of geese for all different styles, but if it's ninjutsu you're interested in, as well as the black judo gi, we also have the heavyweight karate gi in black. Also, mainly for kids in ninjutsu, the lightweight black karate gi. Now, if you are interested in judo gis, you have a whole range of judo gis, but the basic one is the lightweight judo gi. We do also have a whole range of fighting films judo gis for judo practitioners, red label, black label, and the IJF approved Olympic judo gi. Now, if you're doing a bit of cross training and you fancy a bit of BJJ, we do have a whole range of tatami BJJ gis. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of ninjutsu practitioners training in the black judo gi. Thanks very much for watching, I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the black judo gi we have at Enzo. Remember to subscribe to this channel, get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.